Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Valentino from Ironman and Shulkin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Envio Client Center. So what you first want to do is locate the email invitation in your email and it's going to look like this. It'll have our name and everything and then it'll say register your Client Center account. So you'll open this up and now you have the email here from Envio and you just click the orange words register now. Now when you come in, some computers will give an automatic password, but you create your password for yourself and then you move forward. So start off with that. Okay, so once you make a password that is okay, you'll see all the credentials here that you need. You'll need to use a number, an uppercase, a lowercase, and a special character, which there are plenty listed here that you can use and just make sure you always save this in a safe place because you'll need this of course to log in. So you'll hit register me in the bottom here you wait for it to load. You can have your computer save your password or not that's up to you. And then you click here done you see it's successful you're done. So click done and now it'll reroute us to the Envio client center and in the case that it doesn't redirect you automatically. I'll show you here quickly. You just come up, you'll go to Google or your browser. You'll go to envio.us forward slash client center. And you hit enter and then it'll bring you right up to this login. And now you use the respective email that you got the invitation in and the password that you just created to log in. So when you first sign in, there is a way to create a uh, multi-factor authentication. So you can have a, a checklist come to your phone just in case you don't want someone logging in. You could always do that later, but for now, we'll just continue forward. Okay, so now when you first load in, it'll pretty much give you this little briefing on what you can and can't do. And you can read through these and whatnot close and get started and now you're here. Okay, so once you're in your file here now, you're gonna wanna go to your documents here in the top middle and now you'll see on the side they're loading and here, this is of course an example, but here I can now view all my tax returns that were here if I need them for any banking or home, just anything in the future. So now to upload your own documents, that we may need for an upcoming tax year. You can click add document and now you can either browse for the file that happens to be on your computer, your Google Drive, your Dropbox or your box. And you could also scan from your device if you have a scanner attached to your computer. And now if you only have the physical copy and you need to get those onto your computer one way, I'll put in here on how to take photos with your phone and email yourself your photos so you can upload them from your computer. So if your documents aren't on your computer already or you just happen to have the physical copy of them without a scanner and you don't know how to get them on the computer to upload them, there's an easy thing you can do with your smartphone and you pretty much just take a picture of your documents, whatever they may be, all every page, front and back, and you just email them to yourself and then you can put them in and I'll show you how. So I'll start here, I'll take a picture of my documents. I take my photo and now on my phone, I go to my email and compose a new message directly to myself. So you see it's from the same email that it's going to. In the subject, you could just put tax docs photos, just something quick that you know. And then you'll go and insert your photos into that email. And now once you're completed, you'll see them in here. You can scroll up and down, make sure they're all good, clear. And you just send them to yourself as actual size. And now once you send that, you can move back to your computer now and go back into your email here in your computer. Come out of this 
and right here, a brand new email from myself, subject, tax docs photos, and when I open it up, there's the one photo attached, and if you right click the photo, you allow download, and it'll download right to your downloads folder. And now what you could also do is you right click it, and you can save the image, retitle it, tax, docs, cover, and you could send it directly to your desktop or a place where you know it'll be so you could easily grab it. So we'll save that now that I've saved it to my computer. So now you come back into your client center and back into your documents here and you'll see in the top left here, add document. You select that. And now you let it load just in case it takes a minute, but you browse for your file. And now I saved one to my downloads and also to my desktop. So just in case you don't know how to access one or the other, there are ways here to go through your folders and find your documents. You choose that for upload. And now you see in the bottom here, it attaches. And let's say you do attach something by accident, you can delete and remove it here, but we're good to go with this. I hit upload and you see on the top one of one successfully uploaded and here it is you could click it open it and this is the photo that I took of the documents before I uploaded it and of course similar to before taking the picture if you did scan in those documents to a folder on your computer or if your documents were already a PDF file on your computer you can access them the same way that we uploaded the photo that we took, you add document, you browse for your file, and whether it be the photo you took with your phone or a document that was already uploaded to, to your computer, you can select it, upload it, and you're good to go. You'll see here that it's added by you, and then the accountants will be able to move forward and complete your return. Thank you for spending the time with me. Once again, I'm Matthew Valentino, and that was how to use the Envio Client Center web browser version.